Well, 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 here we have a Hummer H2. Um, no offense, but these were usually bought by people with ego problems, either giant ones or uh, lacking. Uh, the early ones were built um, somewhat on the Hummer uh, H1, the Humvee brand, um, but most of them aren't. Most of them are just Chevy three-quarter ton frames where they could mark them up a ton. Nothing stands out about this except for probably that no one really wants to be caught driving one anymore. Uh, unfortunately, that during the gas crisis a couple of years ago, uh, and eco people uh, don't like these, even though actually the economics of them don't just have to do with gas mileage. But um, yeah, this is Adam the Car Critic with a boring, boxy, crappy vehicle that I wouldn't pay a dime for, frankly. Um, if you have one, I apologize for my comments. Thanks for watching, Adam the Car Critic. This is a short one, because you never know um, which kind of egotistical person you're dealing with. The person that carries a 12-gauge around under their seat because they're afraid, or the person that's afraid they're looking at your car and they're not going to come out and confront you anyway. So hopefully you're having a good one here, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. I'd also like to add, if you guys do a walk around of any car that you find interesting, please email me the video. Um, if you send it to me, then I can uh, say something funny about it because it's not always every day you run into a car that's interesting or a Frankenstein car. So thank you so much. One time.